So let's talk about the blog info function from WordPress. Uh, the blog info function is really useful and it helps you display information about your, uh, your blog or your website. And the cool thing about this function is that most of the information that you can display in your theme is stuff that you can add uh, in the WordPress dashboard. For example, uh, suppose this was the name of our website, the Bootstrap blog, and I wanted to set that in the dashboard. You can see if I go to settings in general, I can replace this site title with that site title and then save it. When I'm ready to use it, I can display it here within my theme. Now, of course, I actually have to use the function within my theme to display the site name. So why don't I go ahead and do that? Let's scroll down and find the HTML and replace this uh, with the actual function. So to do that, I'm going to open up a block of PHP and let me zoom in. And I'm going to type out blog info. And in quotes, I'm going to put name, meaning the name of my website. And I'll save it. Switch back over to my browser and refresh. And of course, it still looks the same because I named it the same. But if I were to go in here and change it, I'll just put an exclamation. You can see up there and right here, it's already changed. That a site description is more info that you can display on your theme. You can see here I have it coded in. The official example template. If I were to copy that and put it in the settings, um, it would show up just like the name. Let's go ahead and use the function first. So I'm going to type blog info again. And this time, I'm going to put description. And I'll save it and switch back. And when I refresh, you'll see the default site description. Let's head over to the dashboard and change this out. And I'll go to the general page. And I'll replace this with uh, the official example template. I'll go down to the bottom and save it. And then I'll switch back and refresh. Or actually, I won't need to, but as you can see, it's showing the blog description. Now I'm going to go ahead and use uh, those two, actually that function, in two more spots. And that'll be it for this video. Now the first thing I'm going to do is take the title, and I'll put it up here in the title tag. And then I'll do the same for description. There it is. There we go. That's going to be it for this video. And I think in the next video, what we'll do is we'll clean up some of this unneeded code like this and we'll introduce the loop. Thanks for watching.